here one here one okay here one it's Bob so it has been a while since I made a family video so today I'm going to talk about what it's like to be a uh, makeup guru because I get asked a lot of questions by girls and guys just saying that oh, you know I'm very inspired by all the gurus on YouTube and you know I want to make my own videos but I don't know where to start I don't know how to crack into the world if there is any advice or um, tips that I can give them first off I want to say that being able to help somebody is a form of happiness it is also a form of inner beauty and simply put we all have the ability to do it. For me, it's the whole thought of making videos that could help girls and guys pick up on their confidence, um, videos that could brighten someone's day, uh, making videos to express your creativity, making videos as a hobby, helping people feel beautiful on the outside, but most importantly, the inside. So for me, being a makeup guru is definitely a hobby that I really, really love. So the really cool thing is there is a big number of my subscribers that ended up coming out and making their own videos and they are amazing guru today. I am just so proud of them because it takes guts and courage to even think about, you know, putting yourself on the internet because, you know, if you think about it, you know there could be thousands of people watching you and it is a nerve-wracking thing because I still remember what it's like when you know I made my first video you know the camera was right there and I was you know I was like I'm talking to a camera this this is really weird but you do get used to it so even though now I'm in a little comfort zone where I feel really comfortable talking to you guys um, rewind back a year and a half you will hear a lot of ums a lot of er a lot of pauses but that is all normal because it's all experience the more you do something the more you improve therefore remember it's okay not to make the perfect video and um, your first time because what really matters is that you enjoy it and remember it's your imperfections that make you who you are and these are little traits about your personality that your audience could really love about you so what do you need to become a makeup guru you'll need yourself obviously you and your personality and your hands if you can edit your videos a lot of people use the Windows Movie Maker or whatever editing software you have because you know it's important to be able to cut your videos down so it's not too long it's convenient for you to have the subtitles underneath just so you can explain um, a product description okay now starting off what type of tutorial do you want to make you could make any tutorial. It doesn't even have to be tutorial. So I know a lot of people like to start off with product reviews. So is there a product that you really love and you would just recommend to your friends and family? So the important thing about making a review is what is the product? You know, what is it? What does it do? How does it work? What are the pros about it? What are the cons about it? Where can you get it? But the most important thing is to be clear to the point and probably, you know, don't ponder or beat around the bush too much about the product. So if it helps, have a little notepad and have the bullet points down, but not necessarily write the whole script so it sounds as if you're reading it. And of course, do a makeup tutorial. I normally recommend girls to do something basic like their everyday look or even a au natural look because People are always looking for this type of makeup and it never goes out of style. Do a basic smoky eye look and then there's hair tutorials. Perhaps how you curl your hair or a everyday hairstyle that you wear. Or even recreate a look that you really love such as from a celebrity or in a magazine cover. So for myself, I love watching hauls because I like to know all the new stuff that's out. It's always interesting to see what other people bought. So yeah, the possibilities are just endless. You know, it doesn't mean you have to do all of them. You could just be comfortable being in your like a uh, product review zone. You could be comfortable in making only makeup tutorials. If you are making a tutorial, think about how you want to present it. Do you want to talk through it or you just want to do a voiceover? The advantages of doing a voiceover is it tends to be more clear and allows you to concentrate more on what you're doing. But then again, if you talk through your videos, 
your viewers will get a good sense of your personality. They will definitely experiment, trying both ways to see which one is most suitable. Perhaps even ask your audience, you know, what they prefer. It is definitely really important to communicate through YouTube to your subscribers, to even your viewers, um, the existing viewers out there. So you guys get to bond. And if there's questions, you can help them. You can communicate either by answering comments on the videos, the YouTube inbox. You can create a vlog, such as using Blogspot or Zanga, so your viewers can catch up with you on your daily life. Or you can just make beauty updates through the website. So if you have a Twitter, they can follow you and just, you know, you can keep them updated with what you do and, you know, products that you really like. Another important thing you have to remember is you know, being on YouTube is not a contest. It's not about how many subscribers you have, how many views are on your video, what is your YouTube rank. It's not a popularity contest. Also not about being one of the best ones. The most important thing, I think, is to be able to enjoy what you do. It's all about enjoying the process. It's all about learning. So for me, I have reached a stage that I guess I don't you know, care so much about how many subscribers I have. All I know is I'm just so grateful for every single one. So do you need makeup experience to be a makeup guru? Not necessarily, but if you do, obviously, that's great. But don't be thinking that you need to be experienced. Okay, let's be honest, I am not the best guru on YouTube. That's okay, but never compare yourself to other people. You know, you are yourself. You'll have your own qualities that your audience will appreciate. Trust me, like it or not, it's bound to happen. Um, I find that the more popular you get, the more negativity there is. But don't let that discourage you because, because if it doesn't kill you, it only makes you stronger. Everybody on YouTube will get a negative comment. Remember my first negative comment? It did put me down and made me question myself. Then I remembered what I'm on YouTube to do. I'm on YouTube to do my thing, inspire people. I'm on YouTube to be inspired. Just remember, you have the guts to put yourself on the web. Put yourself on a mission to help people feel beautiful on the outside and inside. When you get a comment on someone saying you're ugly or just teasing you, then remember that ugliness is when people don't see the beauty in things. Hmm? Just be yourself. It's really crazy when I say this, but you know, your subscribers will know you. You don't need to become a perfect shiny person. It's crazy, but your subscribers could end up being people that you could really rely on. I mean, you guys have no idea how much I rely on you guys. You know, when I'm having a bad day and you know, I come home and I read your comments, it just changes everything. The amount of support that you all give me is just amazing. Therefore, just remember what you give out is what you get back. When I made videos, I hope to make people feel beautiful. But, you know, all of you guys ended up making me feel more beautiful. So, I want to thank everybody for that. It has taught me so much mentally and physically. You guys inspire me every single day. So for all the aspiring gurus out there, I just want to let you know that, you know, Bob has got your back 100%. And if you ever need any help, then feel free to contact me either through my Twitter or the Bob Speedy fan page. So good luck everybody, and I will speak to you soon. Bye everyone!